everyone. I know you've been working a lot with clocks and drawing the hands on your clocks and being able to tell time. Today I want to talk to you specifically about these words here, quarter to and quarter past. And I'm going to show you where that came from by first showing you a fraction model. And this is a fraction circle or a fraction pie. And as you can see, this pie has been cut into fourths. We also call that quarters. If you think about money, you can think about four quarters making one whole dollar. So four quarters here, four fourths will make one whole. And if we think about that in relation to a clock, if we are here with our minute hand, then we are pointing up at the 12 and a full turn around the clock would bring us back here. So, to, and that would be when the next hour would start. So if we want to think about how much, how far we would go if we went a quarter of the way around our clock, it would end up being here. This part here represents a quarter. So if it moves from here to here, we've gone a quarter of the way around the clock or one fourth of the way. So in other words, on a clock face, that would be from the 12 to the three. And this three marks the quarter after point. So it means we've started a new hour and when we get to the three, we've gone one quarter of the way around to the next hour. So we call this quarter past when we are at the three. Now, the quarter two would be if the clock started on the 12 and if it went all the way around so that there is only we only have one quarter left to the next hour. So we can see that there's a quarter of the way to the next hour where it would change to a new hour. So in other words, the clock, the minute hand is gone all the way around the clock until we are one quarter of the way to the next hour and that would be at the nine. So the nine, the, uh, the, when the, minute hand is on the nine, that's going to signify that we are one quarter to the next hour. So if you wanted to find the time 5.15, okay, that would be quarter past three, uh, quarter past five. So we know that time as quarter past five. We are one quarter of the way past five. So my long hand I know would be on the three. And now I want you to always be careful when you're drawing your shorthand. So when I showed you the demonstration of the hands going around the clock, you know that the shorthand is directly on the five if it is on the o'clock. And it would be halfway between if it was, if the minute was 30. When the minute is three, when the minute is 15 at the three, your shorthand is going to be just past the five. So almost between the five and where you would have put the halfway. As you can see, the three is halfway between the halfway. So half of a half is also a quarter. That's the way you can think of it. So your shorthand would just be a little bit past that hour. Now, if it was 5.45, okay, that means that we're actually closer to the next hour. Anytime we're past the 30, we're actually closer to the next hour. So what you wanna do is then you wanna look ahead to the next hour. And if the minute is 45, that means that we are quarter two, and then we would say the next hour, quarter to six. If the hour is five now, it's going to be six. So if your long hand is here, that the minute 45, then your shorthand would be past the minute 30. So we're past halfway now. So it would be just a little bit closer to the six like that. All right, so you wanna make sure that your shorthand is also in the correct position as well as your long hand or your minute hand. So the hour hand, make sure that you are checking to checking with your minute hand to see where you should position that hour hand. All right, so have fun with your clocks. We're almost done our clock unit and have a great day.